So, our topic for today is about number patterns. So, may iba-iba tayong klase ng patterns. So, itong discuss ko ang isang klase ng patterns, which is a number patterns. So, number patterns as a set of numbers or sequence. This is one example of a sequence. So, it is 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Ang tawag sa mga number na to ay mga terms. This one, terms. And then, so, ang mga terms, na, naka-arrange sila using the comma. Ito yung pinahihiwaiwalay sila gamit yung comma. And then, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong tatlong dot dito sa last. Ang ibig sabihin yan, continue, continuous yan ang sequence. Ibig sabihin, may karugtong pa ang 10. Hindi na lang nilagay, kinonsider lang natin ang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. This uh, kind of number pattern, sequence ang tawag dito. Ang number patterns din ay isang ordered set of numbers arranged according to the rule. So, ano yung ibig sabihin ng arrange according to the rules? Papakita ko yan, yung rule na yan na sinasabi sa ating problem na isosolve. Ang number patterns daw ay ordered. Ibig sabihin, naka-arrange siya ng paganito. Pwede naman siyang pabaliktad, pero maiiba yung formula. So, kung may rule gagamitin, dapat sundin yung rule na sasabihin sa inyo or yung mga formula na ibibigay sa inyo to construct a sequence or a number patterns. So, let's have an example for a number patterns. For our problem number one, find the rest of the four terms of the sequence. 1, 4, 7, and then 3n minus 2, where n is equals to 1, 2, 3, until 7. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, itong sequence na to, hanapin mo yung next four terms niya. Ibig sabihin, kulang pa to siya ng apat. Pero binigyan tayo ng rule. Ito na yung rule na sinasabi ko kanina. Ang n, ang value ng n ay 1, 2, 3, hanggang 7. Ang ibig sabihin ng n ay ang number of terms. So, pag sinabing n1, ibig sabihin term 1. Ibig sabihin, yun yung first na number sa ating sequence, sa ating number patterns. So, i-rewrite lang natin. Example, this one, solution. Lalagay na natin. 1, 4, 7. And then, unknown itong apat na next terms. Next four terms ay unknown. Hinahanap natin yan sila. So, ano yung mga value na yan? So, gamit itong formula o yung rule na binigay sa atin, isosolve natin itong apat na unknown o yung wala dito. So, gamit yung formula which is 3n minus 2. Yung n daw ay 1, 2, 3, hanggang 7. Ibig sabihin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. n is equals to 1 o yung Unang term sa ating sequence, isosolve na lang din natin. Pwede kayong mag-solve ng diretsyo na n is equals to 4. Pero, ipapakita lang natin yung solution kung tama ba na 1 nga dapat ang formula dyan or ang rule na naginamit dyan. So, for this one, gagamit tayo ng 3. Substitute lang natin, di ba, yung 3 times n. Na ang n man natin ay 1. So, lalagay lang natin na 1. And then, minus 2. So, 3 times 1 is 3. And then, minus 2. So, which is equals dito sa ating first term. So, tama yung pagawa nating process, which is this one. This one, ito yung one na yun. Ito yung naunang sequence o yung number na sa sequence natin sa number pattern. Now, for n is equals to 2, ganun lang ulit, 3. Tapos, yung n na value dyan, ito yung value niya, which is 2. I-substitute mo lang, minus 2. And 3 times 2 is 6. Then, minus 2. So, 6 minus 2 is 4. So, yan na yung sa next term, which is n2. So, tama yung answer natin, 4. Now, to check naman for n3, or yung third term, 3 times 3, which is ang n, ang value ng n, minus 2. Sabihin lang, 3 times 3, 9. Copy the number 2, minus 2. And then, 9 minus 2 is 7. So, yan na yung pang third term natin. So, tama yung process natin. And then, tama din yung sequence natin. Now, for n minus 4, Actually, pwede kayong mag-start na agad sa n-4 kasi yun naman yung hinahanap, yung next 4 terms. Pero pinakita ko lang yung first 3 terms sa inyo. Now, 3 sa e, sa 4 naman, 4 ang lalagay nyo dito sa n. Yun yung value ng n dito sa formula or sa rule natin. Now, minus 2. And then, 3 times 4 is 12. Minus 2, which is equals to 10. 12 minus 2 is 10. And then, for n equals to 5, or the fifth term dun sa ating sequence, 3 times 5 minus 2, which is equal to 3 times 5 is equal to 15 minus 2. 15 minus 2 is 13. So, ito ngayon ang ating fifth term. Ang hinahanap natin ay ang hanggang 7 term. So, pwede natin ilagay ito dito 10, 
this one, and then this one is 13. Na dalawa na lang ang kulang natin. So, ganun pa rin yung process. So, lagay nyo lang n is equals to 6, and then for 3n, which is ang n is 6 minus 2. Then, 3 times 6 is 18 minus 2. So, 18 minus 2 is 16. So, yan ngayon ang ating n6 or yung pang 6 term. So, ilagay natin dito yung answer. So, 16. Now, for our last term na 7, yung kasi ito na yung pang 4 na term na hinahan na kulang. Then, 3 times 7, which is minus 2. 3 times 7 is equals to 21 minus 2, which is equals to 19. So, ang ating pang last na term dito sa ating given problem is 19. So, yan yung number pattern natin based dito sa rule na binigay sa atin. So, ganyan yung paggamit ng rule. Yung n dyan, yun yung number kung pang ilan yung term. Example, itong 4, hindi yan siya 4, n is equals to 4. Dapat yan, n is equals to 2 kasi pangalawa siya dito sa rank ng ating mga number patterns. Problem number 2, which is calculate the following. 1 plus 3 plus 7, and then the next terms are unknown. But, pero yung last term, meron siyang formula na 2 raised to n minus 1. Which is for n is equals to 1, 2, and hanggang 6. Ibig sabihin, same to sa first problem natin. Ang kaso, ikakalculate lang natin yung makukuha nating final sequence hanggang 6 term. So, ang meron dito ay tatlong term. So, ibig sabihin, hahanapin pa natin yung tatlong term. Nakalagay sa n na to ay hanggang 6 daw yung sequence o yung number of terms sa isang sequence na yun. So, kapag i-rewrite natin, let's say solution, 1 plus 3 plus 7. And then plus the unknown plus isa pa at saka plus isa pa. Na pag i-count mo yan, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, ibig sabihin 6 term hanggang 6 dapat kasi sinabi dito sa ating given problem. Mas maganda, pag ganito, pag mabilis ang calculation, huwag nyo na i-compute yung first 3 terms. Kasi given naman, meron ng ano, diretsyo na kayo sa 3 terms na unknown. So, hindi ko na isosolve yung first 3 terms kasi given na siya. So, gamit yung formula, same sa first problem natin, gamit yung 2n minus 1, yung ganyan. So, solve natin ang n is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4. Yung 4, kasi unknown siya. So, n is equals to 4 n is equal to 4, which is 2 raised to n. Ang n natin ay 4. Yan. Minus 1. Which is ganito yan dapat. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 minus 1. So, 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 is 8. Times 2, 8 times 2, which is 16. So, ibig sabihin dito, 16 minus 1, which is 15. So, ibig sabihin sa answer natin, ang next na term, unknown, is 15. So, ilalagay na natin dito 15. Next is n is equals to 5. Ang ibig sabihin ng n is equals to 5 ay ang panglimang term sa sequence. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Kaya tama na n is 5. Now, 2 raised to 5. Kasi ang formula natin is 2n. Na substitute mo yung n na yung value ng n is 5. Kaya 5 yun dito. Minus 1. Then yan, same pa rin, or pag i-calculator nya lang natin, ganito lang yan. Ganito lang, 2 uh, raised to 5. So, which is equals to 32. Now, 32 minus 1 is equals to 31. So, ang next na term natin dito ay 31. Now, for our last term na unknown, which is the 6 term, the N6. Now, 2 raised to 6. Minus 1 is equals to, ito na naman, change lang natin yan into 6. Ganyan, 2 raised to 6, which is 64. Now, 64 minus 1 is equals to 63. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung pang last term na hinahanap natin. Para makalculate na natin tong answer. Series ang tawag dito kapag i-add mo na lahat ng isang sequence. So, i-add natin to lahat, which is 1 plus 3. Plus 7 plus 15 plus 31 plus 63, which is equals to 120. For our last problem, which is construct a sequence of terms using this formula or this rule, 5 raised to n plus 1 divided by 2, where n is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which means that hahanapin talaga natin yung lahat ng sequence ng, na sinasabi dito hanggang 5th term. Yung sinabi kasi dito hanggang n is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ibig sabihin, magko-construct tayo ng sequence gamit itong formula or yung rule na given sa atin. So, for our solution, which is 5, n plus 1, divided by 2. And then, ang sabi, ang n daw is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ibig sabihin, 
first term, second term, third term, fourth term, and fifth term. So, pag gagawin natin yan, unahin mo natin ang n is equals to 1. Always dapat na 1 ang unahin. So, 5, substitute mo lang yung n into 1 kasi yun yung, yun yung value ng n. And then, 1 plus 1. So, ganyan na. And then, divided by 2. Iunahin mo muna yung nakaparentesis na exponent, which is 5. 1 plus 1 is 2. Ganyan. Divided by 2. 5 times 5 is 25. And then, divided by 2. Now, 25 divided by 2 is 12.5. Ganyan. So, meron na tayong first term or yung first term sa sequence natin. Now, for n is equals to 2, gagawin natin 5. Yung n magiging 2 na ngayon. Kanina 1 kasi n1. Ngayon n is equals to 2. So, n is 2 ngayon sa taas. And then, plus 1 over 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. Which is 5 raised to 3 divided by 2. Now, 5 times 5 is 25. Now, 25 times 5 is 125 divided by 2. Then, 125 divided by 2 is 62.5. Now, that's our uh, second term. Now, for third term, which is n is equals to 3, again 5, n, which is 3, plus 1. 3 na ngayon, kanina 2, divided by 2, is equals to 5, raised to 3, plus 1 is 4. So, 5 raised to 4, over 2. Now, 5 raised to 4, 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5, 125. Now, 125 times 5 is 625 divided by 2. Now, 625 divided by 2 is 312.5. So, yan na ngayon ang ating third term. Now, for our fourth term, which is 5, ang n ngayon magiging 4 na, plus 1 divided by 2. So, ang nagbabago sa formula, sa rule na to ay ang n lang. Yung the rest of the numbers, which is 5, 2, and 1, hindi siya nagbabago. Yung n lang, always yun ang n ang nagbabago. Now, 5 raised to 4 plus 1 is 5 divided by 2. Now, 5 raised to 5 is equal to 3,125 divided by 2. 3,125 divided by 2 is 1,562.5. E meron na tayong 1, 2, 3, and 4. Na ang hinahanap natin ay hanggang term na 5 term or yung pang 5th term. Now, for our fifth term, same pa rin sa, sa fifth term, which is n is equals to 5. And then, 5 raised to 5 plus 1 divided by 2, which is equals to 5. Is 5, times, uh, 5 plus 1 is 6, so 5 raised to 6 over 2. Now, ang 5 raised to 6 ay 15,625 divided by 2. Now, 15,625 divided by 2 is equals to 7,812.5. So, ito na ngayon ang panghuling term na hinahanap natin hanggang fifth term. So, therefore, pinatin sulat, therefore, the sequence is 12.5, and 7,812.5 So, ito ngayon ang ating na-construct na sequence gamit ang given na rule sa atin o yung formula. So, kung mapapansin nyo, from the first number, which is 12.5 hanggang 62.5 times 5 ang pattern. 12.5 times 5 is equals to 62.5. 62.5 times 5 is equals to 312.5. So, ganun yung my pattern actually. So, that's it for our number patterns. I hope you've learned something about this uh, tutorial. So, just ask if you have any clarifications about these videos. Thank you for watching.